All right, guys, I'm going to talk to you about something. We've got uh, a new addition in the Suzuki World to add horsepower. This modification is guaranteed for at least 10 horsepower. I'd like to share it with you folks today, here at first. A neon pink valve cover. It is most definitely what everybody needs. And I don't think horsepower gains below 10 are going to happen. I know some of you might argue, but come on now. On a more serious note, we've got uh, something else to talk about. I have uh, decided to use this color pink uh, for a couple of our engine builds. Uh, one, it's been requested by the ladies, of course. But, uh, you know, it's just something loud, wild, and, uh, well, that's it, about loud. Uh, this is going to be a 1298 block that we've had bored out essentially 1.360 over. We're going to utilize a custom 1.6 eight valve flat top piston in this 1.3 block going by the standards that a 40 over 1.3 is essentially the same diameter the same size as a 1.6 eight valve standard we're gonna go ahead and call this a 60 over 1.3 because again we're using 20 over 1.6 pistons you can tell there's still a uh, in my opinion, plenty left in the cylinder wall. I guess time's going to tell, and putting the engine together is going to be the true test. I think it's going to work out fine. These are the pistons we're using. In the past, it has been an issue to get a 1.6 versus 1.3 with a floating pin or a large pin. We're using 1.3 rods from a different application that are the same size but except the large pin. So we're able to float the 1.6 eight valve pistons on our 1.3 which are traditionally a pressed pin fitting. We have one here we can show you. This is a standard 1.3 pressed onto a standard 1.3 piston. So we've got a 820 1.3 rod that is a press pin fitting. You can notice that side by side comparison the 1.6 most certainly is larger and that's always been the issue if we wanted to utilize 1.3 pistons in our 1.6 block we have to get around the pin hole. But we were able to find some 1.3 rods that accept the big end, so we're good to go. This is going to be a 10.5 to 1 custom piston. We've got a custom quench plate in there. Real nice valve reliefs. Coated skirts. And again, this is a 10.5 piston. We're going to be putting in a 1.3 block that's been decked. And then we're going to utilize this 1.3 head that's got 1.6 valves and then the ISKI dual coil spring. I like using the ISKI dual coils on any performance application. Just seems to be a quicker, cleaner open and close. We thought about using a 1.6 head and I'm sure we will test one with 1.6 heads, but for right now we had a 1.3. We had to put in the 1.6 valves. So we've got essentially a 1.3 head with the big valves and then the ISKI dual coil. Obviously the head's been surfaced. The valve seat's been cut, etc., etc. Anyway, we're going to try this. It'll be uh, essentially a first for us. So a 60 over 1.3 with 10.5 to 1 high compression pistons. 1.3 head running a 272 camshaft, big valves, 
Iski dual coil springs. And, uh, you know, if it works out, the only color you're going to be able to get it in is, uh, oh, yeah, pink. Sorry. <laughs>